Here is why you keep repenting over and over again, but you're not changing. You're still falling into the sin. If 99% of you is convinced that what you're doing is wrong, but there's 1% of you that is not certain, you will not be able to repent and therefore change. Repentance is granted unto you by the Holy Spirit when you've, are, when you've arrived at a place where you are fully convinced that the sin is a sin, that God hates it, that it hurts God, that is bad for you. See, you can't repent genuinely from something that you're not fully certain is wrong in the first place. There can't be a real repentance. You can feel sorry, but you can't really repent from something you're not actually fully convinced is wrong. The Holy Spirit does not force people to repent. Before the repentance comes revelation, conviction. Before you repent of your sins, the Holy Spirit begins to you know, drop little messages in your spirit like the things you're doing. This is wrong. This is not pleasing unto me. And you have the freedom to say, you know what? I receive it or you don't. He will only give you the transformation you want and help you repent and never go back. Once you're fully convinced, once you are fully convinced, the whole gospel is about being convinced of who Jesus is and who he says he is and what he does and what sin is and what it means and what it does, right? The consequence of the sin. So the Holy Spirit works together with you. You guys are working together. We are a team with the Holy Spirit together. That's how it works. You cannot repent on your own. Repentance is not a magic word. When a person has received revelation from the Holy Spirit that they've been living in sin, if that person accepts the revelation and decides that they really want to change, then the Holy Spirit grants them the ability to repent. The power of the transformation and the repentance comes from the Holy Spirit. It is not a magic word. The meaning of repentance is an action, turning away from something, no longer seeking after something. And only the Holy Spirit can grant you the ability to change, but He only grants that to those that are fully convinced and are ready to change. No more excuses, no more excusing the sin, no more looking to the left or to the right to see if someone else does it, then so can I. Don't look at other people and what they do. Okay, not everybody's listening to the Holy Spirit. You got to listen to the Holy Spirit. And if you're fully convinced, He will grant you the deliverance. And therefore, you'll be able to change the way you want to. As long as it's just a magic word to you, you won't change.